We are dressed for dinner, y'all. Like, who is she? I'm in this season where I'm building things. God is giving me great opportunities, and I know that He will strengthen me. I know that He will carry me through. <laughs> Welcome back to another weekend vlog. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and I'm a lifestyle, home, self-improvement, and faith-based content creator. So I'm so excited to be back with my second vlog, y'all. I think I'm starting to get the hang of things, but I'm really excited about this weekend's vlog because we are going to be, one, getting these braids out and getting our hair done. So I'm super excited about that. And then we're also going to be doing a little bit of makeup shopping. So I do want to get some new makeup so that I can just get back into my look, get back into my you know, feeling myself. I want to be feeling myself again. Stay tuned throughout the duration of the vlog. If you like this type of content, make sure that you also hit the subscribe button before you head out. But yeah, y'all, that's all the housekeeping stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's... I just need to slow down because that always happens. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so there's this account. Ooh, hold on. Um, I don't really know what her name is. It looks like it's like underscore, 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 P-I-L-A-R. I'm going to just put it right here. And then I'm also going to put it in the description box. But she makes these amazing mocktails. If you do not know, I stopped drinking around December. But it's Cinco de Mayo and I'm in the mood for a tasty little drink. But I'm not going to get any alcohol. So this is the drink that I want to make. Um, I'm actually going to try to pop the video in if I can. But let me just show y'all so look how freaking good this recipe looks so i will also put this recipe in the description box but this is what we gonna try to make y'all so we gonna see look at this yeah we gonna see if i can do it i think i can so i'm actually looking right now to see it looks like oh she's using a zero proof tequila where am i gonna get a zero proof tequila from All right, y'all, we just got in the car and it is time to head. I left my freaking charger, so I got to go back and get my charger and then I'm gonna come back. And this ain't even focusing. So hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm back and I got my charger. So can you please focus on me? Focus on me. Can y'all see me? Okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if, if it's focusing on me or not, but I got my charger, y'all. I'm just really in a good mood about, y'all, Jay just text me. Um, I be having to push myself to like get out of the house and actually do something. So I'm really excited to just get out of the house and like do something, even though I don't drink anymore and stuff like that. Hold on, y'all, because this just is not focusing on me. So there I am. And what is in my eyebrow? okay that's me but when i come and put y'all y'all know i don't be having the right gadgets so i don't have no car mount okay um i really just be having to push myself to get out and do stuff especially since i have stopped drinking and if i can help it i try to put myself in an environment where i'm not around and not around a lot of alcohol only because like all of this is so new for me and i'm still just trying to figure out you know, I don't want to test my own strength. This is something that I'm serious about and that I really want to commit to at minimum for the next year. So um, it's hard for me to just, you know, still be social and do things even though I'm not drinking. So I'm excited about just trying the new mocktail recipe and like still, you know, being festive even though I'm not going to be engaging like in the activities. I ran into someone on the elevator and um, he was like, you going out tonight, etc." And I was like, no. So I always feel like um, people never really consider the part of change where you're like grieving because although I'm happy with the decisions that I'm making with my life and I am seeing the way that they're positively impacting me personally, it still doesn't make it easy to go through this level of transition because you know a lot of things involve alcohol and 
for a long time every time I would celebrate something or do something or like meet up with a friend it would have something to do with alcohol so we'll talk more about that but anyways I'm just excited to make a little mocktail recipe it is so dark right here y'all <laughs> I'm just excited to make a little mocktail recipe to get out it's a beautiful beautiful day in Houston Texas y'all my garage is a little abrupt so just don't mind that thank you so I'm just excited to get out um, and do something I kind of want to do a little bit of car karaoke this is my jam Holy girls up, period. <laughs> I don't mean nothing. This is where I wanna be. Pussy out the way. I wake up, I gotta pray. Okay, y'all, we just made it. We just made it to Total Wine. So I'm about to go in there and see if I can find the zero proof non-alcoholic tequila. Uh, my battery is low on my camera. So I'm going to just go ahead and get this footage of um, this little trip on my phone and pop that in there for y'all. And then I'm going to talk to y'all when we get back to the house. We are back from the store, y'all. So I'm actually going to... Um, I feel like not far away, but that's the best place I can put the camera right now. I'm actually gonna film the drink, making the drink for a short form video for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. So I wanted to go ahead and show y'all the recipes, and then hopefully I can pop a video somewhere in. One thing about my battery, y'all, is gone die. So let me make this quick. Um, okay, so the first thing we got in this bag, this is just like a fresh jalapeno. And then I also got some um, blackberries as well. I saw that in the footage. Zoe, what are you doing? And then y'all know we got this little kit that we're gonna use to make everything with. Then I have my um, non-alcoholic spirit for tequila that we bought from um, Total Wine. And then I have some organic blue agave nectar that I'm gonna put in there. And then we have some lime juice, y'all. And the last ingredient is actually already in my refrigerator. And that is going to be Okay, I got it. I got some organic mint. So that's all the ingredients, y'all. I'm about to make this video for short form. And then hopefully I can pop it in here so y'all can see it too. But I'm gonna come back on and let y'all know what the final drink looked like and also what I think about this non-alcoholic tequila. I hope it's good because this stuff was like $30, y'all. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. We just made the drink, y'all. My kitchen is a mess and my family's about to be here. Um, I put it in the refrigerator because I just want to clean up really quickly. But look at her. She's cute. And I use my oversized ice cubes. It does taste really good, y'all. Like. And when I did drink a jalapeno mar, child, please. I know y'all probably like, you were just in the kitchen talking about the mocktail. And now you're sitting in your bed in pajamas. And I can explain. <laughs> so earlier when I was telling y'all about the mocktail and the ingredients and how it came out and all that stuff, my camera died. And y'all know my camera be dying because we still getting used to this YouTubing thing. So I'm still trying to figure out how to work this camera. Um, so as a result, my camera died and then my family got here. And so it was time for like nachos and movies and things like that. So yeah, I know this wasn't the craziest start. First of all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. These vlogs ain't gonna have like a whole bunch of, you know, crazy stuff, exciting, yada, 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 okay? I'm a normal girl, I live a normal life. I just wanna get on here and share it with y'all. And when I do find little recipes and stuff like that, we gonna pop it in here and y'all make it educational. So um, not much happened today, honestly. I am about to sit down 
I'm already sitting down. I'm about to lay down, grab me a nice little book. I have a couple books in my nightstand that I'm reading right now. Um, this is like not self-help, but did I say self-help? Self-help. Um, I'm reading this one, Bamboozled by Jesus. And if y'all don't recognize, this is Molly. This isn't like, well, that's not her real name. Um, her real name is Yvonne, but Molly from Insecure. That's who wrote this book. And it's actually very good. So I'm probably going to dive into that a little bit and go ahead and go to sleep. I am getting the braids out tomorrow, y'all. So y'all are going to see them in the morning for sure. But this is, y'all see how much like, I don't know if y'all can see like all that new growth. Look, how I just got y'all all in my scalp. <laughs> There's a lot of new growth there, but I'm getting my braids taken out tomorrow and I'm super excited about that. I feel like, so I just wanted to come on here and close out Friday um, and I will see you all in the morning. had a partnership with them in April so this is honestly the second bag that they gave me the first is already gone because I really really like it but it's really quick like it's in this little pack y'all it's an instant coffee pack so it's like super quick which I really like because on days like today don't get me wrong I love to like brew my coffee when I have the time to do that today I do not have that kind of so I love to just grab that. And also I love that it has like hydration uh, benefits to it as well. Y'all may not be talking slow when I haven't had my coffee yet, so don't be saying that. But it has like hydration benefits as well. And then y'all know I do not cheat on Chobani oat creamer no more. I just don't because every time I do, I end up disappointed. That's the best creamer in the game right now. So yeah. But I need to call my best friend because we're supposed to be getting together today. Sorry, y'all. I know this ice is loud. I need to call my best friend because we're supposed to be getting together today. But I don't know what time like all my hair stuff's gonna be done. I wanna like start laundry and then I'm gonna clean up later. Like I'm gonna mop, sweep the floors, clean out the refrigerator, and do all that stuff later. So I need to figure out. See, I'm trying to talk to y'all and do multiple things at one time. I'm just going to use this water bottle for yesterday. I need to figure out how we're going to set that up because I do want to get together with her today. So I hope that that is still on the agenda. I'm looking for my shaker, y'all. I might be in this dishwasher. And if so, I can try to find a place to make us some dinner reservations. I'm going to tell y'all one thing something about, I don't know if y'all saw that TikTok where I was talking about having like someone help you kind of clean your home. And it is a great benefit. But let me say something about Sonya. Sonya don't put my stuff where she think it should go. And that's why I can't ever find nothing when I'm looking for it. Because 
I did not find my shaker for my coffee. Let me look through this, y'all. I'm not gonna waste good memory card on this. Hold on. I found it, y'all. So, um, what was he talking about? I don't remember, but yeah, that's what we're doing today, y'all. We are going to, I'm gonna pull y'all a little bit closer. We are going to go get these braids taken out. I took my little bonnet off because let this scalp breathe before we put this wig on, child. Um, we're gonna go get our braids taken out, pick up our unit, come back home, clean up, get laundry started, clean out the fridge, make a grocery list, all that good stuff. And then hopefully get together with Ray for dinner tonight. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I coffee on every vlog, but it just comes out. Look at that. So tasty. I still have a little bit in here. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And then they're like, when I use my shaker, it's already frothy on top because I do have a milk frother, y'all, but it don't have no batteries. So <laughs> I don't be using that. It's really just on display right now. And then I'm gonna put my Chobani oat creamer that I just spilled all over this countertop. And look how that just starts to make a very delicious cup of iced coffee. This is amazing. I better come get y'all some of this. Hey. I don't know, that's right. Okay, so coffee is made. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the rest of my morning. Again, I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all once I am dressed and get ready to head out the door. So, see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, we are all showered, skincare, all that good stuff is done. Um, I'm refilling my water bottle. I have used this with some just lemon, and I really wanna like focus on hydrating today. So if I'm gonna be sitting down for a couple hours, I really wanna try to get, now hold on. I knew I was gonna spill this. Anyways. I really want to try to get rehydrated. So, y'all know we had that hydration coffee this morning and I'm gonna drink this lemon water. I'm gonna try to have at least two of these today. Let me drink some right now. I'm gonna try to have at least two of these today. Um, Cause that should have me feeling good. It should get my skin back right. Cause we need to make sure that the skin is skidding. This is the last time with the braids y'all it's day time though like this new growth do y'all see how far away that braid is from my scalp girl all right so i'm gonna take her on a little walk grab my bags head out and we're gonna go get this hair done we got our hair done y'all we got our hair done let me tell you something. When I get my hair done, can't nobody take that from me. <laughs> can't nobody, and I put these, can't nobody take this from me. Anyways, <laughs> we got our hair done, y'all. I'm sitting in the, um, I know I kind of keep doing that little thing. Cause y'all, I, I know it hadn't been that long since while I had the braids, but also before I had the braids, I had a blunt cut um, blonde bob in for my birthday. So I haven't had a bust down middle part with some body curls. I haven't had that in a minute. Y'all probably like, who is that? I don't even recognize her. <laughs> but y'all, okay, so we're right outside of Ulta. I'm about to go in. I just finished watching a couple of TikToks because I was trying to figure out. Um, Ray and I are going to dinner tonight at 9.30 and I wanted to get some new makeup products. So I was trying to figure out uh, what products I needed to get. So I just went ahead and made a list of the products that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and purchase that and I'm gonna take y'all with me. Um, and then when we get to the house, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little Ulta haul to show y'all all the products that we picked up. So let's go ahead and do that and I will see y'all in a little bit.
Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood, body giving sin views I'm just saying I'm amused But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted it up We got the goods, y'all I'm not gonna lie, Ulta just robbed me Cause that was $200 And when I show y'all what's in this bag when we get home Y'all gonna be like, on what? Okay, we're back in the house So, let's go ahead and see what we got For $200 At Ulta I'm not gonna lie y'all, on my way in here, driving home, I really contemplated this purchase. 200, look at this, $203. Anyways, I'm investing in myself, I wanna look good, I wanna feel good, but I kid you not, I got like four things. So, this is, <laughs> in my two hands, what I just got. So let's go ahead and go over it. So. First up, we have the Translucent Setting Powder by Hourglass. So I did want, um, it's hot in here, y'all. I think I forgot to turn the air on when I left. And the windows are open, it's just hot. Okay, let me stay focused. So we got the Hourglass Setting Powder. I'm trying to get in a good angle that y'all can see. So I am excited to try just the new setting powder i've been using laura mercier and i got a full size so i really hope i like this but the packaging is like super cute and it says veil so i guess that is the what i got this is so cute like the shade that i got i'm assuming so anyway let me not spend three minutes talking about that all right so sticking with powders, the next thing we got, I'm already opening it, but we got the NARS Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. So I really wanted to set like my entire face, not just my under eyes. I feel like this is more like in the areas where I'm trying to brighten. So that's where I'm going to put that. But this will be like for my full face. So this is sort of skin neutral. I got it in NW46. So let me see if I can show y'all the shade. Y'all know what MAC products look like. MAC been that girl. She's been around. But this is the shade that I got in this one. Then, I'm not going to open this up quite yet, but for the powders, I didn't have a good powder brush. So this is from um, It Brushes. It's by Ulta or for Ulta. And this is the Complex Powder Brush. Oh, come on now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, y'all see how the focus... I'm over here trying to be a content creator girly and my camera don't be focusing. I don't like that. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Complex powder brush. Complexion. Let me just move on to the next product. <laughs> okay, so if you watched my weekly vlog, the last weekly vlog when I was going to DC, I got some NYX light coverage, medium coverage, Something another. Uh, foundation. If I put this up one more time, I'm gonna just cut this whole part off. I'm getting angry with myself. It was not foundation, it was concealer. <laughs> I got some NYX concealer in the last vlog. And y'all know when I did my makeup in DC, I just didn't like that. So NARS has never failed me. I did get their Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got two of them in two different shades. And I'm gonna show y'all both shades and tell y'all why. So lately I've been using the same concealer underneath my eye for my eyebrows. And I just wanted more of a natural look. I do want my under eye to be a little bit bright underneath my eyebrow, but I still want it to, you know, look a little more natural. Like I just didn't want it to look so light and white. I'm a brown skin girl, okay? I need a little color. So these aren't too, too different. I don't even know if you can really tell the shade in the camera, but I got them in medium deep 2.6 and medium deep three. I guess that's the only differentiation I got for y'all because they're both medium deep. Okay, well yeah, medium deep 2.6 and medium deep three. So if you can tell, this is the one that's gonna go for the brows and this is the one that's gonna go for the under eye. Oh my goodness, my lips are so dry. 
I got a piece of hair in my mouth. I got it. Okay. We are about to prep our skin, touch up our hair, try out some of our new makeup products. As you can see, I got my dress hanging up in the back. So I'm going to wear that metallic dress tonight. I'm going to dinner with my best friend. I already told you that like six times, but I just want to feel super cute. So I'm about to do my skincare routine and I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin. I'm gonna wash my face and prep my skin with my um, Fenty Beauty primer. And then I'm also gonna just like moisturize my lips with my Laneige. And um, before I do all of that though, I'm just gonna like cleanse with a cleanser and some micellar water. Just really make sure the skin is super prepped and hydrated. So I'm gonna montage y'all out while I do that. And then we're gonna touch up the hair a little bit. It's really humid in Houston. So although she had my hair just curl real cute today um the humidity in texas just did not want me to be great so i have this um i haven't done my hair in so long y'all i don't know if this is called i know y'all probably like she can't remember nothing what hot comb <laughs> i have this hot comb that i got from target it actually goes all the way up to 400 and this is just what i use to um i'm doing a little demonstration but to get my wig as flat as possible because i just do not like no wig looking like it's sitting on top of your head so i want the unit to look super flat so um i don't know why i'm already starting on this it's not time for all that but when i do get to my hair i'm gonna be just touching it up flattening out my unit touching up my curls um all that good stuff so yeah let's get into it dinner y'all like who is she <laughs> we are all dressed i feel i'm not gonna lie y'all i feel real cute like i'm very happy with the way my makeup came out i'm like real close to the camera so i'm trying to see myself i love this dress like i don't know how i can get y'all to see the dress i'm gonna have to set this up differently but Hair came out cute. Everything just looks really cute. So I am running late tonight. I do want to find a way to show y'all my outfit. Let me see if I can set the camera up differently. Hold on one second. Okay, so I still cannot get the full dress, y'all, but y'all can kind of see the gist of things. This is our dinner dress. We look so cute. I'm so excited to be getting out of the house. <laughs> So I am actually running late y'all. Um, now I'm at this like, ooh, sorry. Now I'm in this like really awkward positioning because I changed my camera, but I'm actually running late. So I'm gonna take y'all with me to dinner, but of course I'm mainly just gonna montage because I wanna enjoy the company of my friend. So I'm gonna show y'all where we're going. We're going to Juliet tonight. I'm gonna take y'all with me and then we will chat a little bit more when I get back. So I feel so cute. Y'all, so we had a reservation at 
Walking into my unit now. I just wanted to tell you guys good night because it's 12:30 and I have church in the morning. So I am getting ready to end today's part of the vlog. I'm, I'm all over the place. <laughs> the dress was a huge hit tonight. The dress was a huge success. I felt very beautiful and I'm just so happy that I got to get out tonight. So I will talk to y'all in the morning. Okay, hey y'all and happy Sunday morning. So it is actually 10.30 a.m. I don't know if I popped the clips in from church this morning. I woke up really late at like 7.20 and church started at eight and I had like a 20 minute drive and in transparency y'all i just honestly have not had the best morning like as y'all can see the blinds are down it's just very gloomy and rainy outside and i'm really realizing how important like my morning routines really are to me because when i don't get that time to just like have my coffee have that time with god like take a moment and process the day i hate more than anything just rolling out of the bed and jumping into the day even though i was going to church it just like i just don't like that like it just throws everything off and so in transparency like my spirits are a little low this morning but one of the things that i love about just this whole entire journey with my spirituality and just my healing it's like i recognize when i don't feel that good and i know what it is that i need to do so even though it's already 10 30 like i did not eat breakfast i'm so hungry um i'm really just going to restart the morning the church was so good this morning like once i got in there i just prayed and i was like god just please lift my spirits like being in your house i know that's what i need to like lift me up and so you worship through it anyways like even if i didn't feel like it i lifted my hands i clapped i shouted like i worshiped him anyways and it did help me start to feel better they did altar prayer i went up to the altar i made sure to lay my hands on it physically like just knowing that i needed I need him all the time. I really needed him this morning to just lift me up and he did. And so I'm, I'm in a space where I'm functional and I'm talking and I'm not crying. <laughs> so that is all, that's all a good sign. Um, I just keep feeling so overwhelmed and this is kind of turned into a bit of a venting session. I will tell y'all, one of the things with my vlogs is probably going to be a lot of times where I'm just sitting here like talking to y'all. Um, it may not be like a lot of activity, but one of the things that keeps happening especially on sundays is like i'm just so busy i'm so busy there's so much on my plate right now and i'm not complaining but it's just like finding that time to just lay in the bed like i can't 
with a non-guilty conscious just lay in my bed and watch tv and enjoy a rainy day today i can't do that like i want to clean i want to go get my groceries i need to cook dinner i still have to record the podcast like there's just so much that needs to be done and it always seems like rest just isn't on the table for me so um i'm starting to get <laughs> i'm starting to get a little emotional so i'm just trying to calm myself down but i just have to find a way to romanticize the season that I'm in. I continuously say like I'm in this season where I'm building things. God is giving me great opportunities and I know that he will strengthen me. I know that he will carry me through and really just needing to stay the course and just be strong and pull from the strength that he has given me. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to rush. It's 10 o'clock. I have at least a good 12 more hours in the day before I need to go ahead and lay down and get some rest. So I'm not going to be on my socials as much. I'm really just going to probably be vlogging with y'all, turning my camera on and showing y'all clips throughout the Sunday reset, but I'm not going to be spending a lot of time like on TikTok or Instagram um or anything like that so we are gonna go ahead and get into our sunday morning i'm about to turn on social dallas i love the social dallas ministry i pour into social dallas the same way that i pour into my home church because i really love what they're building out there if i was in dallas that would definitely be my church um so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on their service and just start to tune in and put that on in the background while i get ready to make a fresh pot of coffee i'm gonna make some oatmeal and get me some fresh fruit and hydrate and take my vitamins i'm gonna do my daily devotional i'm in a gratitude journal that's all probably gonna take me like at least an hour and a half ish and then around noon we'll start to clean up and things like that so let's go ahead and get into this sunday reset and welcome to a sunday in my life let's do it <laughs> oh before i go <laughs> I wanted to let y'all know I'm wearing my, um, I don't know how well you can see it, my Self Care Wellness Club set. So this is a set that I got from H&M and I love to put this on on a gloomy day. It just makes me feel so cozy and just in the home getting ready to just you know rest even when i go to the grocery store i'll keep this on and i do have this link in my ltk i think one of the pieces was sold out so i have similar items but i'm gonna leave that down in the description box for y'all if you are interested in shopping this collection from h&m zoe down there tripping i don't know if y'all hear her but she down there tripping okay let's go ahead and get into it <laughs> crazy with just one continuing to just worship through it all like I was saying and taking a minute to just eat breakfast sit here as y'all can see Zoe is really enjoying this chill time that we're having <laughs> she is really enjoying this chill time that we're having but um 
I was starting to let just the weather and just feeling like I had to just get everything done right now really overwhelm me and just really taking it slow, enjoying breakfast, enjoying my nice cup of coffee and just sitting here and watching another service. It just gave me what I needed. And that's just the honest truth. Like sometimes you really just need a break. So to get up, go ahead, mama, get up, get down. Get down, Zoe. You hear me. Get down, mama. Y'all see how she be ignoring me? Zoe, get off this couch. <laughs> Y'all, let's clean up. <laughs> change because once I started cleaning up I started getting hot and now that I'm thinking about it I kind of want some water and got a little bit of water we are now about to tackle the bathroom so I'm going to show y'all currently my struggle with the bathroom right here so here's the real problem okay the problem is that this place just does not have a lot of storage so the two drawers that I'm showing y'all and then I have like um, I don't know if you can see it let me tilt the camera down three little drawers first of all I am not pointing to the right thing three little drawers right here and that's really like all the storage that I have as y'all can see it's really small down there so I've been trying to find different containers now my camera is crooked we love that we love a crooked camera um no I don't like that either Y'all know I've been struggling. Okay, I've been trying to find different containers. So I'm pretty sure that this Amazon package is the organizers that I bought. So that's gonna be the next thing on our Sunday reset is to organize underneath these cabinets. So let me go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and link this down below. It'll also be in my Amazon storefront, but we're gonna use these under sink organizers. So I believe it came with a set of two and you can kind of see the shelves pull out. So I've tried different things. As y'all can see, they're not working for me. So I'm about to completely reorganize this whole bottom section. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these open and we're gonna get to work. So hopefully my skincare, my makeup, everything can just be reorganized. I didn't even put up the stuff that's like back there on the sink. I just need to completely re... to completely revamp that area so let me go ahead and get this box open off camera and then i'm gonna go ahead and get to work and show y'all some bits and pieces and then i will go ahead and show y'all what the final product came out like Selling fan blowing okay. cold breeze on your body i can't tell you really what it okay. is but you got it make up in the morning you got dresses in your closet but you grab them tight you in love with being modest you a mood body giving center views i'm just saying i'm a mute but you ain't even flexing and you go tat it up, cover walls, different vibe, you know. Okay, now that it's in here correctly, these drawers do slide out. I ended up adding another container that I already was using because it does have like a little bit of division. So I went ahead and popped that in there and I did the same thing on this side. So this one has like three dividers just in case I need just, you know, to have some division with the product. So I went ahead and popped them in there and now I'm going to stock them up. Okay y'all, so we took the trash down, we went and got our packages. So the big box back here is the chair that I bought. So I'm gonna pop a picture of that right here so y'all can see. This is a chair that we are getting ready to put together. I am gonna do this for short form like TikTok and Instagram. So I may not be able to film that much here but I'm of course gonna show y'all the, the final look. All right y'all, so the idea is to have it here in this corner. And I really just want this whole section to be like a reading corner. It's right by the window. So if I want to like put a nice little side table right there, I'm going to see once I get the chair like right up in here, but this is where I intend for it to go. So again, I'm going to be doing a video for this on TikTok and Instagram. So head over to those channels to see how this is set up. Ooh, we got our chair, y'all. She's so cute. Okay, so I'll be honest. It doesn't fit in the space like I want it to, but I definitely don't hate it. 
Like it's definitely just really, it's a great cozy spot to sit. Y'all know Zoe not gonna let me have nothing. It's a great cozy spot to sit. I just, uh, there, you can't really walk on this side. Like it does close off the space, but I don't really anticipate like, I sleep on that side. So I feel like that's not that big of a problem for me. I love the chair. The chair is so comfortable. Like even just to have it in my room, I just love it. I'm back in the chair y'all. I like it. It's cozy. <laughs> um so as y'all know i did get this from amazon so like the rest of the stuff it will be linked in my amazon storefront um it is about 6 30 and outside of that smoothie i have not eaten much so i'm actually about to go and eat a little snack watch a little youtube for a bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store it'll probably be around 7 30 ish it is gonna be a late night and i'm okay with that because I just need to get done what I needed to get done, okay? So we're just going to try to go to bed by 11.30. We're still going to record the podcast, and that's that. So when I get back on here, the next thing y'all will see is probably a grocery haul if there's anything to show. But if not, then I'll just jump on here and probably close the vlog out. I hope y'all having fun. If this is not the end of the video, um, well, this is not the end of the video. I'm definitely going to get back on here. But I just want to go ahead and say, y'all, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I never understood why creators would say that so much. But this is genuinely how you can support. If you are enjoying this content, this is how you can show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing so that it will be pushed out to other viewers. And I would appreciate it so much as I continue to grow as a creator. So I just thank y'all so much for being here. I'm having so much fun. I hope y'all are having fun. Good morning, y'all. So, <laughs> I got a surprise. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, y'all. And this vlog was supposed to end on Sunday. But, as you all saw, I never got back on the camera and said bye. So, I am here on Tuesday because Sunday night when I started to record the podcast, I just was so tired. I didn't go to the grocery store, so I didn't have any groceries to show y'all. I really finished up like my Sunday reset on Monday, but at that point work had started and I was just so overwhelmed and tired. So I was not able to get back on here and tell you all bye and thank you so much for watching. So I just wanted to say bye and thank you so much for watching um i'm really having a great time on youtube y'all are leaving the kindest comments on the videos and i really just appreciate you being here i'm glad that you're enjoying this content because i've never had something like this where i could look back on days of my life and just being able to share things that are helpful for other people so if you like this type of content make sure that you like comment and subscribe on today's video and i will see you all on the next one have a great week What? <laughs>